everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Coming Arts and Crafts. So, today, um, book review is basically The Evil Queen by Gina Showalter. This was provided to me by HarperCollins Australia in exchange for a review, and I appreciate it so much that they sent this book to me. Um, I'll go into the review now. Basically, um, I'm not going to go in about that right now. But The Evil Queen is based on the story of Snow White. However, instead um, of being based around basically Snow White, it's based around the evil queen in Snow White. So our main character is Everly and her destiny is basically to become the evil queen of Snow White's story. So, well, the stepmother to Snow White, basically. So, however, after returning to the mortal world, from the mortal world, so basically our world, to the land of um, her birth, Everly falls in love with Ross Charmaine, who is basically our Prince Charming of our story. Um, as she discovers through her adventures, though, that destiny, um, she discovers through her, basically discovers, ugh, I'm fumbling here. She basically discovers through her adventures in her story and what she experiences that basically whilst um, destiny is part of it you can also choose the type of person you want to be or the type of history you want to make from your story or from your background and realizes that sometimes she does play the part of the evil queen but sometimes others also play the part of the evil queen and so it's very much sort of basically learning that depending on the experience or the type of person anyone can end up being the evil queen even though she is destined to be that part and she basically does take that part um she's also learns to be merciful as well I guess you could say so basically, Everly was born with the help of the apple from the tree of life and death. Unlike her sister, um, Truly, who is basically the huntsman of the story, and I'm just moving everywhere, and her cousin, whom she's grown up with believing is her sister Hartley, and so they're basically like sisters anyway, who can talk to animals. Everly is a sorcery, and so basically she's a sorcerer who gains her magic by siphoning it from other people who naturally have magic or who are naturally magic users. And this isn't looked upon kindly in Enchantia. So Enchantia is the, the land where she's gone back to, the land of her birth. And I honestly found that whilst I thoroughly enjoyed this book, there were periods where the writing was wow and very fast-paced. But there were also times where it was slow going and took some effort to keep going with the story. I had um, multiple periods where I stopped and read another book and just took time because I felt myself enjoying the book but just lacking the motivation to continue due to the fact that the book is a little slow paced at times. Which there's nothing wrong with that. Not by any means, it's just that sometimes how books need to do the backstory and the history. This did, however, pick up by the end of the by the end of the book, and I really did love the book overall in the end. Um, the world building, plot, characters, everything just worked in so well together till you could just imagine the world and story like you're actually there with Everly and living out her life, basically. Um, I won't say much more because I'm trying to keep this review um, free of spoilers, if possible. I cannot fully guarantee it, but I do the best I can. Um, and I know it's a bit shorter, but it's sort of... I'm not really sure of much else to say because I really don't want to spoil the story for anyone. And I just want to give the basis of the story and that's sort of what I wrote. And I hope if you enjoyed this review um, that you leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you and talking to you. And thank you again to HarperCollins Australia for sending me, or Harlequin it might be, 
um, might be Harley Quintine for sending me a copy of this book for review. And yeah, I hope you have a great day or evening and enjoy your reading or colouring or whatever you're doing. And yeah, I will see you later. Bye.